My name is Lauren Akery and I'm going to put on a base coat for our rain barrel. So if you're wondering why I'm using one of these respirator masks, it's to protect all the fumes coming off from the paint so it doesn't get into my lungs. So I'm going to let our first um, base coat dry overnight so that we can start with our second phase of like painting in the morning. Mm -hmm. So people are probably going to be wondering what I'm about to do. So I'm actually going to make the outline of the moon. So Katie knows when she goes down later and makes all the pretty roses and gardens that she'll know where the moon in the center of the piece is. Hello again. So what I'm going to do now is you can see that I've already started spraying some clouds with like the simple templates. So what you do is like you just get regular poster paper and then you just rip it up and so you can make a little cloud stencil and then you can just spray it on your barrel make little clouds like this. So you see that we have a little bit here. We don't want to put a lot because we already have some different colors over here. Because we're starting to get down. Also, so while you're seeing this is happening, you see how it starts to start to drip and puddle up on the paper? We don't want that because then it will come off on the barrel and start dripping down the barrel. Yeah. So this is why we have multiple different pieces of paper yeah. so that it doesn't drip. Oh, so I am doing the base colors of both the, uh, the flowers and towards the background here and then you know a little trail that's going to be going down and so right now I'm using a uh, resilient latex acrylic paint for most of this it's a bit drippy so I have it all over my hands but I'm starting the flowers right now and the trail going down and hopefully I'm going to get a lot of the flowers done today and uh, get the trail finished up and looking a lot prettier than it will be right now um, but this is where I am at so far. Okay, so my final steps here was later last night, I decided I was going to put all the individual white dots on all of the flowers. Um, that took me like an hour or so because I did a lot of flowers, more than I expected to. But I had finished that up late last night and I also finished up the pathway. Um, you could probably remember before, it was just, you know, a big yellow line. But I uh, tried to make it more defined by using the white lines and then I put more contrast into the different hill that I had made and uh, use some of that lighter green that I use for a lot of the flowers to brighten it up at the top. Um, and this is kind of where I'm at right now, and this is where I think I'm finished for the project. However, we need to seal it and do multiple coats with that, and then we should be done with the project. Thank you.